Alright guys, undoubtedly knife collecting is a lot of fun, and here are five knives that you wish you had, and probably some that are very, very high up on my most or favorite knives in the collection. Of course, really speaking, or realistically speaking, most of the knives in my collection are my favorite knives in the collection, but these are some really awesome blades. So first off, let's start with the Hinder XM18 3.5 inch. This guy is running on skiff ball bearings, CPM 20 CV recurved blade. This thing is a beauty. This is probably one of those blades that lots of people want to steal from the collection, and it is a fantastic action. It's really one of those knives that you don't realize just how good it is until you handle other flipper blades and or flipper knives I should say and realize just how smooth, how clean, and how drop shut this blade is. I mean it is insanely smooth. Like there are knives in my collection, other flippers that are smooth, but this just takes the freaking cake. And uh, it's just such a clean blade, really well made, and uh, the action like says unbeatable. And overall, it is just a fantastic knife in every sense of the term. Like in every way you could want a knife to be good, this excels. So that is the Hinder XM18, three and a half inch. All right, next one up will be the Chris Reeve knives large and cozy with the micarta inlay and this guy is always stiff i swear i need to break it in more but this guy is so clean and whether it's the Incosi or the sabenza in my collection both are fantastic but they really represent blades that are timeless that you can really just they don't age they look great they perform great and uh yeah this is like, so hard to go wrong in general with the crk or chris reeve knives blade of any form but these guys take the cake and the fit the finish is just where you want it like these things are so well made so cool and i really do love them even though this thing I feel like is making a liar out of me for not being able to flip it open or flick it open. So anyways, this is the large Incosi with micarta inlays. Beautiful blade, CPM S45 VN blade steel. All right, next one up is the Protec Auto, or I should say Protec Strider Auto SNG. Now this one, is probably the cheapest on this list or definitely is the cheapest on this list but i do love it in a lot of ways it is just a basic 154 cm blade steel but this guy is so cool it takes the properties of the strider smg and makes them a push button auto and protect does a really good job with their push button autos fires fantastically no blade play just works every time and you have that awesome once again strider smg shape and ergonomics and overall performance so it really is a blade that just excels at general purpose utility use and is pretty cool in my opinion especially with that hard firing like action okay next one up is going to be the newest one of all of these and that is the heretic knives manacore x i believe it is but the manacore bounty hunter and this guy is just so cool i have wanted a bounty hunter otf in my lineup for a long time and originally i was wanting to go with either a combat trudon or an Ultratech by Microtech, but this guy I had to choose over those because it has this awesome looking camo fat carbon carbon fiber uh, scale and it just looks so cool as you guys can see there is camo like the variations of this knife like the Boba Fett colors are in this carbon fiber and not only that it's carbon fiber so it is just so freaking wickedly cool and then you turn it over and you get that really beautiful good old Mandalorian logo there with the classic Boba Fett color and of course this one is apocalyptic finish or worn finish and it just looks so good I should be doing more up close on this thing but you guys can see there it just looks so freaking cool 
then of course you have that awesome very bright yellow but still war-torn kind of finish on your deployment and there is an awesome tanto blade on this guy or tanto however you prefer to say it and this one is made out of magna cut which is not my favorite steel in the world but still very high performer and like i said a very very nice tanto on this thing so overall this guy is just so hard to go wrong with it's very similar to the microtech ultratech and combat trudon with that classic tanto shaped um bounty hunter style and uh yeah when i saw this i just had to go for it because i was like this really speaks to me this thing is just too cool especially with the fact that they uh heretic knives chose to go with the carbon fiber on the flip side so the show scale looks really cool as it is but then you have that non or that clip side that looks equally as awesome so really awesome blade just an absolute stunner of a knife and uh yeah that is a really really awesome knife all right last one up is informally dubbed the halo knife but actually the gavco full custom nurse i know i feel like i show this guy off a lot but i love it and it really is a blade that many people in the comments section wish they had because it is a one-off custom from gavco knives and it is a really awesome blade super cool it has a lot of texturing on all the kind of uh, flats that this blade has including on the handle just a ton of time a ton of effort spent in on this blade and of course it is purple if you guys haven't noticed purple is one of my favorite colors it's dark purples and uh, really do love the way this blade looks it just looks so freaking cool and the way that it's textured up with the titanium and then you got then you have this awesome Timascus clip on it that just is super pretty. And so overall, I feel like this blade is not super, super showy. It's kind of understated, but still very capable and very high performance. So overall, very cool blade. Once again, super smooth, trying to make sure it doesn't bite me because this one is also extremely drop shut. But uh, yeah, that is the Gavco Nurse XL and it is pretty cool. It's the smallest, but the most expensive of the bunch. And that is a good look at five knives that you probably wish you had, but they are definitely my favorites. And I love being able to make videos like this because I can show you guys what I'm collecting, what kind of things speak to me, and you know, kind of each, and I think each and every person's like knife collection is unique, it's their own. And certainly there are other people with these different knives, except this one, because this is a one of one. But outside of this guy, you know, there certainly are other people that own these knives, but not probably all of them together. So that's what I really like doing is showing my knife collection because it is unique in its own ways and probably similar in some ways to other people's knife collections. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you liked these knives. If nothing else, there was a lot of eye candy here. So as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.